The Structure of Science – Problems in the Logic of Scientific Explanation is a 1961 book about the philosophy of science by the philosopher Ernest Nagel. The book is considered a classic discussion of its subject, though its approach has been seen as outdated. Summary Nagel discusses branches of science such as physics. Topic publication history The Structure of Science was first published by Harcourt, Brace and World in 1961. It was reprinted in 1979 by Hackett Publishing Company. Topic reception Topic Mainstream Media The Structure of Science received a mixed review from the philosopher Raziel Abelson in commentary. The book was also reviewed by the philosopher A. J. Eyre in Scientific American and William Gilman in The Nation. Abelson considered the book's publication an important event in American philosophy. He credited Nagel with consolidating the rival insights of logical positivism and pragmatism, demonstrating how four different kinds of explanation function in different types of inquiry, refuting the view that science does nothing more than describe «sequences of phenomena» and convincingly criticizing Berlin. However, he argued that Nagel's account of science was strained and that some of Nagel's views were unclear. He believed that Nagel was less successful in discussing sociology and history than he was in discussing the natural sciences. He also charged Nagel with vacillating between the «mechanistic» view of social knowledge and that of «pragmatic pluralism» arguing that each of these perspectives has merit, but only when adopted with full commitment. Topic scientific and academic journals The Structure of Science was reviewed by G. B. Keane in Philosophy and the philosopher Paul Feyerabend in the British Journal for the Philosophy of Science. The book was also discussed by Colin Klein in the Philosophical Quarterly, Grazina Mushal in the Journal of Economics and Management, and the philosopher Kenneth F. Schaffner in the Journal of Philosophy. Klein wrote that discussions of the role of reduction in scientific explanation published after the book moved away from Nagel's views, because of perceived shortcomings in Nagel's theory of reduction. He argued that the trend away from Nagel's views has been a mistake. In his view, while Nagel's account of reduction has a number of flaws, Nagel's account of intertheoretic connection is largely correct. Mushal wrote that the book is a source of inspiring conclusions and is regarded as one of the fundamental works on the contemporary methodology of science. She added that Nagel's conception of scientific theories is considered classical and, as such, worth of detailed analysis, and that Nagel's position left numerous opened questions that were further developed by other authors, and concluded that the structure of science is still a valuable reading for junior research workers in economics who wish to reinforce their knowledge. Schaffner noted that Nagel's theory is based on the reduction of classical thermodynamics to statistical mechanics and that criticisms of his theory are based on the application of the reductionist mode of thinking to genetics, statistics and the concept of multiple realizability. Evaluations in books The philosopher Adolf Grunbaum criticized Nagel for misinterpreting the philosopher of science Henry Poincaré in Philosophical Problems of Space and Time the philosopher Douglas Hofstadter described Nagel's book as a classic in the philosophy of science in Gödel, Escher, Bach 
He praised it for Nagel's discussions of reductionism and holism and teleological and non-teleological explanations. The historian Peter Gay praised The Structure of Science as an important book and a clear exposition of positivism in style in history 1974. He credited Nagel with refuting opposing points of view. Gay wrote in Reading Freud 1990 that The Structure of Science is a book on which "...many of us grew up", and that it "...remains valuable". He noted that while Nagel was "...no Freudian", the closing sentence of The Structure of Science paraphrases the famous last paragraph of Sigmund Freud's The Future of an Illusion 1927. .The philosopher Roger Scruton praised Nagel's discussion of the "...dispute over the nature of theories and theoretical terms." In Modern Philosophy, An Introduction and Survey 1994. The philosopher Isaac Levi described the structure of science as a well-known classic in its field in the Cambridge Dictionary of Philosophy 1999. The philosopher Michael Ruse described the structure of science as Nagel's definitive work. In the Oxford Companion to Philosophy, 2005. However, he maintained that Thomas S. Kuhn's *The Structure of Scientific Revolutions* (1962) discredited Nagel's approach to the philosophy of science. 